The Minkowski diagram, also known as a space-time diagram, was developed in 1908 by Hermann Minkowski, and provides an illustration of the properties of space and time in the special theory of relativity. It allows a quantitative understanding of the corresponding phenomena like time dilation and length contraction without mathematical equations. The term Minkowski diagram is used in both a generic and particular sense. In general, a Minkowski diagram is a graphic depiction of a portion of Minkowski space, often where space has been curtailed to a single dimension. These two-dimensional diagrams portray world lines, as curves in a plane, that correspond to motion along the spatial axis. The vertical axis is usually temporal, and though units of measurement are taken such, that the light cone at an event consists of the lines of slope plus or minus one through the event. A particular Minkowski diagram illustrates the result of a Lorentz transformation. The origin corresponds to an event, where a change of velocity takes place. The new world line forms an angle with the vertical, with a less than p by 4. The Lorentz transformation that moves the vertical to a also moves the horizontal by a. The horizontal corresponds to the usual notion of simultaneous events, for a stationary observer at the origin. After the Lorentz transformation the new simultaneous events lie on the incline. Whatever the magnitude of a, the line t is equal to x forms the universal bisector. In Minkowski's 1908 paper there were three diagrams, first to illustrate the Lorentz transformation, then the partition of the plane by the light cone, and finally illustration of world lines. The first diagram used a branch of the unit hyperbola, to show the locus of a unit of proper time depending on velocity, thus illustrating time dilation. The second diagram showed the conjugate hyperbola to calibrate space where a similar stretching leaves the impression of Fitzgerald contraction. In 1914 Ludwig Selberstein included a diagram of Minkowski's representation of the Lorentz transformation. This diagram included the unit hyperbola, its conjugate, and a pair of conjugate diameters. Since the 1960s a version of this more complete configuration has been referred to as the Minkowski diagram and used as a standard illustration of the transformation geometry of special relativity. E. T. Whitaker has pointed out, that the principle of relativity is tantamount to the arbitrariness, of what hyperbola radius is selected for time in the Minkowski diagram. In 1912 Gilbert and Lewis and Edwin B. Wilson applied the methods of synthetic geometry, to develop the properties of the non-Euclidean plane that has Minkowski diagrams.